For years, the Chinese government tried to snuff out Christianity. In the late 1940s, some 500,000 Chinese Christians were killed because of their faith. Now, decades later, in what is officially still an atheist nation, Christianity is now the fastest growing religion. We had a dream that someday we would build a church focused on prayer for China and the world. Ha Bining and her husband Fang Kai are witnesses to this profound move of God across China. In 2000, the Christian couple had a dream to turn this piece of land in a corner of northeast China into a place of prayer. My tears fell like the rain and I started praying. God gave us a vision to help bring churches across China together for non-stop prayer. Nine years later, with construction on the property almost complete, the couple sent out email and text messages to friends and pastors, inviting them for a prayer meeting. We didn't know who would show up or how many. I was praying that at least people from seven churches would show up. To my absolute amazement, 70 churches joined us that day. This is home video of that first prayer meeting. We were overwhelmed at the response. It was totally beyond our expectations. The press center started June 2009. Since then, 617 churches from across China have signed up to pray 24 hours a day. We have three main objectives. First, that this will be a place where people can make peace with each other. Second, that God will use this place for churches to repent and compromise with each other. And third, that this will be a place where people can make peace with God. Christians from more than 100 countries have also visited the prayer center. Every day we receive guests from around the world. It's so exciting to see people pray. These intercessors know God is doing something special in China. When the communists took power in the 1940s, there were roughly 4 million Christians in China. Today, well over 100 million are followers of Jesus Christ. And if current growth rates remain, experts say in less than two decades, China will become the world's most populous Christian nation. In return, Fang Kai says God will use China to be a blessing to the nations. I believe our life as Christians should be a blessing to others. God said to Abraham, I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. God blessed Abraham. He is blessing the Chinese church. Kai and others believe prayer initiatives like this have been key to church growth in China. 24-hour non-stop praying is not an easy task to accomplish, but it is a happy thing for us to do, to enjoy 24 hours of God's presence in prayer. Through prayers, our heart is broadened. We learn to care for others and for the world. As time goes by, prayers inspire us to love each other. In 2011, a new seminary and Christian business school were established on the grounds of the prayer center, training the next generation of pastors and business leaders to change China for Jesus Christ. For Ha Binning and her husband Fang Kai, this place is a God-given dream come true, to unite churches in China and help bring news of Christ's love to the ends of the earth. This is the core of Christianity. We are all on our knees, lifting our hands and praying that the gospel will continue to spread around the world and also here in China.